Hi, welcome back to Wiscatino Farms. My name is Brandon. Today we're doing our seventh week hive inspection. Man, it is a warm one out today. I am gonna feed them. I decided I'm gonna feed them, fill up their feeders. It's been very dry here. And cap brood, this hive's gonna jam pack. They're definitely in a flow. Let's crack into them and get in there. And this was a frame of brood that we brought up here and we had some wonky comb and stuff on these other ones starting. I did, by the way, order a hive rest. I'm excited about that. So we're gonna do like I said before and one frame out and then work on the rest. So here we got our first little frame that's got a little bit drawn out comb on it. So they're working on that. So remember, we're gonna take one frame out and just as we're working the colony, we're going to move them over. So this one, this one has some connecting comb on the bottom and then they drew out a little bit of wonky comb and then they're storing some honey in here. So they're actually pulling in some nectar, it looks like, from somewhere, because I know this feeder is completely empty. There are eggs in here in this little drawn out area, a few days old, it's larva. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see that at all. But there's larva and eggs in that frame. And then this side, they are drying out fairly nicely. So that's awesome. There's eggs in there and larva as well, which is great. I'll tell you that queen lays wherever she finds a spot, she goes in there. I'd say they're doing fairly decent on this top box then. This one's got cap brood already. So this wasn't even drawn out really that much last time. It's got cap brood. Eggs, larva, not bad. This side as well. Eggs, cap, brood, larva, honey at the top. Almost makes me not want to feed them. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. See how they've filled out the bottom boxes. Maybe, maybe they don't need to be fed. This frame's extremely heavy. They're just filling this all with honey. It's complete. So they definitely don't need to be fed, I'd say. They're finding nectar somewhere. This is all honey, brood, cat brood, larva, almost ready to be capped, and uh, bee bread. So maybe they do have a nectar flow somewhere. See here, they got this whole side of the frame drawn out. Eggs, a couple day old eggs in there, larva. I actually do have a little bit of feed in here. As much as I said I wasn't going to feed them anymore, I think. It is really hot out again today. Upwards in the 90s it's supposed to be today. In the lower 90s, so like 91, 92 I think. And we'll start with this frame over here on the right. I'm gonna to try to remember to just start from the right and then work my way left. So this is all resource. And then there's a little bit of brood in the middle. So she came over here and laid a little bit. But I mean, that's all honey. As I said, I don't know if I really need to be uh, feeding them. Seem like they're doing fairly well bringing in nectar. So that's an amazing frame brood. Cat brood. This hive's gonna explode here soon. This side's got tons of pollen up here. And these are all full of cat brood. Definitely not gonna feed them, like I thought. Even with the umbrella, the camera's dying in this heat. It is a hot one out here today. Wow. Tons of pollen. They, they got more pollen and they know what to do with. That's all it says, pollen and nectar. There's some eggs. Another nice frame of brood. Pollen, 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 pollen. Bee bread. Just crazy amounts. Definitely should probably just get the other uh, two frames and remove the feeder. 
probably do that last next time, honestly. Again, this is all, it's crazy. So they're emerging and bringing in so much pollen. It's all pollen. There's some eggs in there. Just tried, tried laying, bringing in honey and our nectar and pollen like crazy and backfilling it. So this frame's just starting to get drawn out. Again, it's just nectar. Uh, nothing on this frame. Kind of working on drawing it out. Not really anything on it. The way this hive is, if this one's anything like, I'd say if uh, the nucleus is anything like this one, it's definitely gonna be ready for that box. As much nectar as they have in here. It's flipping crazy. They're a little mad at me. I dropped, I set a frame on here. Yeah, so I set that one frame on top of here and I set down where the honey was. It was actually capped honey. And it dripped down inside the frame. Yeah, I'll show you before I uh, close up the hive here. Right there, it's all dripping the honey all down the side of the box. So, I won't make that mistake again. At least try not to. The nucleus colony here. I'll work on that one next. All right, so camera died again while I was in here. This thing is jam-packed. All this fresh, drawn-out comb, nectar. She's laying like crazy, which is awesome. So I'm gonna definitely not um, feed them. They're definitely in a flow right now, even though I didn't think we were that much of a flow because it hasn't rained in a while. It's supposed to rain tomorrow. She's got kind of a spotty brood pattern on here. It's a little weird. Just might be how they drew, drew it out. So I'm taking the frame, the frame feeder out of here and going to go get the other two frames that that takes up. And we're gonna put that up here. That, that brood pattern is a lot better with a super because they definitely need a super. They're, they're going crazy. They're running out of space fast. I should have just put it on last week. Had no idea that they were going to uh, get in a flow like this and just fill this box out. Yeah, this one's all laid. Good laid eggs. And honey, cap brood, nectar, capped honey. This hive is doing amazing. Queen cells on the bottom of this one. Honey and they're capping it. So we'll check out these queen cells. It does not surprise me. They've built queen cells like crazy ever since I've gotten them. No eggs in them though. So I'm gonna set the lid on them partially and go get those two other frames. All right, so we're back. I grab. Two more frames for this colony. We're gonna throw them in, just one on the outside here, and then one in the, one frame in on this side. Hopefully they'll draw that out in a couple days, and then uh, she can get the lane more. Definitely um, getting the super on here too today. There's no reason not to. As fast as they filled out this box. Holy crap, that's heavy, wow. You know, fuel. So I really want to look for the queen in this bottom. I didn't see her in the top, although there were eggs, so I'm not too concerned, but I just want to make sure they're not going to swarm on me. So they're still working on drawing this frame out. They do actually have some cap honey on there and some nectar. They capped that really early. This frame is all, it's got brood in the middle and it's hard to see if there's eggs in them down there. She's relayed or not. Um, honey like crazy on the outsides, like last time. They're not backfilling it, which is good. Like the other box. And remember correctly, I didn't believe that we had four frames yet to fill out on this. 
and I've seen, you know, it's like maybe a quarter of a frame so far, empty. This frame's all full of pollen, nectar, a little bit of brood. Another waggle dance there. This whole side's full of pollen. See how our drone frame is doing. Yeah, she's relayed it pretty well. It's got a lot of pollen on it as well. As well. Crazy. One queen cup. Right here. Nothing in it. Wow, that's all. All pollen. I think this one was all full of pollen last time too. Both sides. It's just full of pollen. Maybe I should invest in a pollen trap. I think I said that last time because they definitely have an abundance of pollen. If these bees make it through the winter, I think I'm definitely going to get a pollen trap. I might probably order one anyways, but if they make it through the winter, I'm definitely getting one. So this one's got fresh laid eggs and different stages of larva. Definitely fresh laid. I mean, they're staining straight up, so don't really have to find the queen. She's definitely here within the last day. It's a heavy frame of honey. Yeah, that whole thing's drawn out excessively for honey. I feel like you should move that frame in so they can move that honey out. Hopefully they move it up to the top. When I add the super, this one's not drawn out yet. So I mean, they definitely have some room. A little bit of room yet. Man, it is a warm one out today. Um, I know the camera kept dying. I, I can't help that. It's just so warm, even with the umbrella covering up the camera. It, it's just, it's hot. There's hardly any clouds in the sky today. The wax was melting on the frames when I was pulling them out. So I kind of had to be quick with everything and uh, went through the hives. Um, so I kind of recap everything quickly. I removed the feeders out of both. I didn't add feed like I originally was going to. They are definitely in a um, nectar flow right now. I didn't think we were going to be because I kind of thought we were um, last week. The way things were going, the way the bees were acting and uh, flying in and out, and they acted like they're on a nectar flow, but they're definitely on one now. They're they're drawing comb and bringing in resources like crazy. So we added a super to the nuke, the nucleus um, colony, the Carniolans, and um, so hopefully they'll get that drawn out. Removed the feeder, added two undrawn frames. Um, they only had one frame of undrawn foundation and it, actually they were starting to draw it out so they're working their butts off um, last week they had four um, at completely empty frames and some partials and all the frames are pretty much filled out besides that one there's like maybe a quarter on one of them but uh, they all have honey capped over at the top and everything, which is awesome. So I had a super on there, no queen excluder or anything. Um, I want them to be able to go up easily, draw the frames. The frames were all prepared last time. I put extra wax on them so they're, they're ready for that and everything and they'll hopefully draw that out. I'm gonna bet, I mean, if we have a nectar flow like this continuing, they're gonna probably get that whole box almost completely filled out. Um, this next week. So we are gonna have a big storm tonight into Monday morning, uh, it's Saturday. So it's gonna rain for over uh, 24 hours, pretty much nonstop. We're supposed to be getting over into rain. So I'm, I'm hoping everything kind of greens up around here. Um, whatever flowers or trees are blossoming or anything, it's gonna keep going with all this rain. So took the frame feeder out of the out of both of them, like I said, so uh, the package bee has got a new, two new frames of undrawn foundation as well and added to their top. I mean, they had, I think half that box started already. So I think they're gonna have that all drawn out really well um, starting this next week. I didn't see the queen today in either boxes, but I've seen fresh eggs in both of them. The nucleus colony, I saw day old eggs, uh, package colony, the 
Italians I saw a day or two old eggs, so they're doing good. I, I don't need to be searching for the queen. It's just they're doing good. I'd almost be willing to bet they're gonna possibly gonna need a super next week. We'll see how it goes. And if they have that most of all that top box drawn out, I'm gonna add a super on there, just because they're definitely we're definitely in a nectar flow, and I think they're they're catching up to the nucleus colony in that respect. They're gonna be able to. She's gonna be able to get up there, lay eggs like crazy, um, as long as they don't keep backfilling. And they backfill that bottom box um, quite a bit. So I'm, I'm hoping that they get that top box drawn out and move resources up so she can continue to lay. Otherwise, they probably would have swarmed at this point. They did have a queen cup last time, they didn't. This time, the nucleus colony had four queen cups, but nothing nothing with eggs or royal jelly or anything in them, so we're good in that point. I'm probably gonna jump in that pool because it's really hot and cool off quick, but We'll see you next time. Don't forget to hit the like button. Bye.